in my youth team, I played with Crouchy as well. Did you? Crouchy right. was in my youth team. Uh, right. So at 14 years old, my first day of training is a, you know, a giant of a, of a 14 year old, <laughs> centre yeah. forward, who I have to come up against. The weakest point was probably his heading. If you can't head her, then what's the point? <laughs> but, 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 it was, but to be fair to him, he was, he was really good with his feet. Since 1991, Tottenham have lost their last eight FA Cup semi-finals, four League Cup finals, and one Champions League final. You know, what we've lacked over the years is the consistency, but we've always had players capable of winning mm. any game or beating any team. So what happened? So, yeah, it's difficult to, to explain, you know. I think what's difficult is that it's, it's different groups of players. Yeah. You know, it's not just one group of players, it's different managers. If I look back into the end of my career, we probably had the best team that I played in. Modric, Van der Vaart, Bao. Um, unfortunately, I was kind of at my worst because I, I wasn't able to train and I felt like we could have done more had I been been fit. You're right, on any given day, we, we should be able to, to have done that by now. You know, Harry's, uh, for me, the best best in his position in the world. But it's a collective. It's a collective. Yeah. You need all your all your all your players to perform on on that day. You know, and and we haven't done that enough. Should he leave? No, I've, I've never been, I've never been one who's kind of really believed in that because it's, there's always a lot of pressure from the outside telling you what you, what you have to do. It, you know, Harry is scoring goals. He's 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 probably going to break the the Premier League record at the club. He's already one of the best strikers in the world. You know, for me, I was said. It felt more to win one or two at my club than to go elsewhere and win three or four. And I'm lucky that as soon as I retired, the club offered me a role as an ambassador, which allowed me to be at the same club, around the same people, you know, give me a, a new responsibility. You know, I've always had a great relationship with the club sure. since, since I joined at 14. And and with the, the chairman, you know, uh, it's important for me to say that. I think, you know, he gets a bit of t tough criticism at times. You know, when I first joined the, the, the club, we were a mid-table team. You know, over the years, we've kind of bridged that gap. You know, that's not the chairman's fault that we, why we've lost the finals or why we haven't won a, won a trophy. Antonio Conte pointed the finger at the chairman. To be fair to, to the manager, he had a tough year. You know, lost a couple of close friends. He had his own health issues, a lot of frustrations in the in the inconsistency of the team. But the team was where they probably deserved to be at that point, yeah. which was still in and around the top four. But I'm guessing it would have been to keep building. We are looking for a manager and there are some good ones out there. And hopefully we can make the right right choice. You know, the type of manager we probably need is someone that we can build it build around it's just really about finishing this season off as well as as well as, as well as we can you know we're not the only ones in the who have had a tough year mm. you know Liverpool have, have found it tough Chelsea have obviously found it tough and you really only have to look at our North London neighbours to see how from one season to the next it can change yeah yeah uh, and that's, that, that gives us hope I suppose Arsenal, your role models, eh? I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. But they've got a, a young manager that they're giving some time yeah, to he's and allowed him to. Yeah. Yeah, he's, done, he's done really well. There's no, yeah. no doubt about that. You know, for them, they want to kick on again. And for mm. us, we need to to kick on from where we are. But there's hope that you know it can turn around very quickly. You played for the very famous Senrad FC. <laughs> we had five players that went on to play in the Premier League from my, you know, a group of ten-year-olds. That's amazing, mm -hmm. isn't which it? is crazy. So you know, we had uh, J. Lud Samuel, yeah, uh, Bobby Zamora, Paul Konchesky, John Terry, and myself, all in one wow. team. Um, which Did is crazy. Lose? I remember one game. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 this is how much it still hurts me. Our manager took m myself and a, another another uh, player off and brung two trialists on and. The game was nil nil at the time. We lost two nil, and I've never forgiven him for that. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually Scott Parker's team. It was Scott, Scott Parker's, Parker's team. team. Yeah, 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 amazing yeah, team. So, you know, we've had a bit of banter about that over That's the years. But, uh, yeah. yeah, great days. My youth in my youth team, I played with Crouchy as well. Did you? Crouchy right. was in my youth team. Uh, right. So, at fourteen years old, my first day of training is a you know a giant of a of a fourteen year old <laughs> centre yeah. forward who I have to come up against. His weakest point was probably his heading. If you can't head her, then what's the point? But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, was, but to be fair to him, he was, he was really good with his feet. And I was, I was always a big fan of, of Crouchy's and uh, he had to go away and come back and learn yeah. to head over. His heading got yeah. better. Yeah, definitely. Put that on your CV, Crouchy. <laughs>
If you can't head, what's the point? <laughs> but, he, but, but he went, like, like you say, he went off and certainly learned his trade, didn't he, yeah, when he came to head? And he came back came to 10 years later yeah, exactly. to the football club and yeah. I was still there in the same place, he says. <laughs> He's <laughs> still, there. Yeah. still there as well. Yeah. And one day, Ramos said to be quite a character. Yeah. Very strict, particularly about the food. Well, the first thing he said was that we all need to lose weight. So you're all overweight? Yeah. Basically, we was all overweight. There was one player that didn't have to lose weight. Anyone guess? Crouchy. <laughs> Even Crouchy had to lose weight. <laughs> Crouchy had to lose weight. <laughs> Jermaine Genus was the only one who didn't have to lose weight. Everyone else had to lose weight. He took away juice, salt, yeah. sauces, ketchups. You know, food become very bland yeah. for us. When Rande Ramos left, it was the night before a game, and Harry was taking over the next day. So on the way to the game, we had no manager. So I remember the, the lads just pulling out everything out of their bags that they'd been hiding. Sauces, <laughs> ketchup, sachets of ketchup, <laughs> chocolate. All the contraband. <laughs> everything. Yeah, so, right. yeah, you know, Harry did, Harry did the mind yeah. Harry had no problem with it. So it didn't come out all that. Did Harry not bring a bag and start selling them off around the back? Like, lads, what are you going to give me for this mayonnaise? <laughs>